what Professor Latas is trying to say is, you know, it is meant for us, young Muslims, you know. This book is meant for young Muslims. And young Muslims here, I don't think young at age. No, 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 no. Because many of us are slowly discovering Islam again, isn't it? Discovering Islam in a very contentful manner, both content happy and the other content. You know, it's a pun. <laughs> now, one person in particular, Harvey Cox, and I have the pleasure of finding this book. I've been looking for this book for a long time. Uh, I found this book in Oxford when I was there for the second time. And this is where quite interesting, the secular city. And this is where quite telling, you know, for a Muslim perspective, the city is where the religion is supposed to thrive and live and defines the city. That's why it's called Medina, right? The city is where religion takes effect. But in the Western sense, the city is where secularity will take effect. So it's a complete opposite. See, and just the word city. But you can see now how the, the, uh, the, uh, the design, the planning of the city now, it's celebrating this thing called the secular city. And it's quite a fascinating book. And many of the things that he said here is basically being summarized by Professor Latas here. And they are in agreement. It's quite fascinating. But what is the main thing why Professor Latas is saying this? Because in the background of Western Christianity, he is saying, he is trying to warn the Muslim that do not let this happen to us. Do not let secular ideas encroach into the worldview of Islam. Unfortunately, it did. It did. He, Professor Latas, is telling us seriously, you want to under understand Islam? This is a serious ball game. Remember Al-Ghazali mentions there are different levels of, of Muslim, the Awam, the Khas, the Khawas. You are all educated people. So you should arise, you know, rise above and go higher and higher because this is where the problem is. And once this is clear in your head, inshallah, you know, things are becoming even more meaningful. Allahu Alam. Thank you for your patience. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wa barakatuh.